The Wood Whisperer is sponsored by Powermatic, the gold standard since 1921. And by Rockler Woodworking and Hardware. Create with confidence. I'm in the middle of making some shop cabinets and I thought it would be a good time to show you how I fine tune my dados. I actually use a hand tool to do it. This tool right here is a router plane and it's called that because essentially you can see how the blade sticks out from the bottom. You have this nice flat platform and you can use it to do a lot of the things that we use a powered router for. But the thing is, since this is a fixed distance from the base, it's great for cleaning up dados that we've made on a machine. And the reality is the dados that we make sometimes just are not an even depth. And that's because the plywood, especially on larger pieces, can lift up as we push it through. So let me show you how to use this. It's very straightforward. You basically want to set the blade to a known depth. So for instance, at the beginning of my cut, I know that I'm exactly an eighth of an inch. That's where I want to be. And you can see that my blade is set so it's not cutting any material there. So all you really need to do, just make sure everything is nice and tight, go over all of the areas that you've cut and find spots where it starts to lift material up. Okay, those are areas where the workpiece was raised a little bit. And right here, I can even see just the material changes. Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, an MDF layer here that needs to go away. And I'm just going to do this for all of the dados in this particular project. You can see this one's pretty bad here. All right, if you start to pull up a little bit too much material, you may want to go from the other end. Work your way down. Now, the reason we worry about this at all is because if you don't do this, you may have an uneven depth as you go across the length of a board. So let's say this is maybe a bookcase side or a cabinet side. Uh, once you put this other piece in here and you clamp everything together, you may wind up on the outside of your case with a bow as soon as you put clamping pressure on there because it's not an even depth. So honestly, to avoid frustration and to make sure your projects come out nice and clean, it's probably not a bad idea to invest in a router plane. It's a great tool. It's probably, uh, next to my block plane, one of my most used hand tools in the shop. So I highly recommend you get one.